In our last video, we created a device under test that was a simple counter that counted every clock, and we created a make file to run our Coco TV test bench. We also created a Coco TV test bench, which basically started the clock, reset our device under test, waited for two rising edge clocks, released reset, and then ran the simulation for 50 nanoseconds. We ran that in the terminal by simply typing make, which showed that our test was passing. Once you run CocoTB, you'll notice that there's some accessory files and directories in the directory in which you ran CocoTB. One of the ones we created here was the dump VCD file, which is just basically a log of all the signal levels in our design. To take a look at our waveform, we can download software called GTK Wave. Once that's downloaded, you simply type GTK Wave and your VCD file. That's going to open GTK Wave and you'll see that it's populated with our device under test, our top level module. Underneath there's the signals that are within our design, so we can take a look at the clock, we can take a look at the, the count, and we can take a look at the reset signal. So the count signal was our output, and the counter was the internal state of the design. So if we zoom out here, you can see that our simulation ran for 52 nanoseconds, our counter counted every clock after the reset was released, up to 16, and then rolled over back to zero. Since it ran 50 nanoseconds, it did that multiple times. One alternative to GTK Wave is a browser uh, version of a waveform viewer called vc.drom.io. You can simply drag your VCD file to the browser and view it just like GTK Wave. This is a little faster than downloading GTK Wave if you want to get up and running and looking at your waveforms immediately. So that was a super quick overview of how to use GTK Wave with CocoTB. Thanks for watching.